In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AlOH3 plus HCl. This is aluminum hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. This is a neutralization reaction. So first, when we do net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. So this is our molecular equation. Three chlorines here. Let's just put a three here. Now I have three times one, three hydrogens plus three. That's six hydrogen atoms. So I'll put a three here. Two times three is six. So now the hydrogen atoms, they're balanced. Three oxygens and then three times one, three oxygens, the aluminums. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, I can write the states for each substance. So aluminum hydroxide, if you know your solubility rules or you have a solubility chart, this is an insoluble in water. It won't dissolve in water, so we need to put an S after it. That also means we won't split this apart into ions when we write the net ionic equation because it's a solid. HCl, hydrochloric acid, that is always going to be aqueous. It always has a little bit of water in it. So we have our hydrochloric acid aqueous. We can split that into its ions. We have aluminum chloride. That's going to be soluble, so we write a little AQ. And water, that's a liquid. Put a little L after that. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. That'll give us the complete or total ionic equation. So we said we don't split the aluminum hydroxide up. So we'll just write ALOH3. And I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Plus, hydrogen's group 1. That has a 1 plus charge. Chlorine has the 1 minus charge. So we have three hydrogen ions and three of the chloride ions. So those are the reactants in our net ionic equation for aluminum hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. For the products, chlorine, that's a 1 minus, and aluminum, that's a 3 plus. So we can split this apart into Al3 plus, plus we have the three chlorine atoms. So three chloride ions is what we end up with. And then we have the three water molecules. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. So as I look across, the only thing I see is I have three chloride ions here in the reactants and three in the products. I'm just going to cross those out. So this is our net ionic equation. Let me clean this up, write the states in, and then we'll have the net ionic equation for AlOH3 plus HCl. So this is our net ionic equation for aluminum hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid. So you can see we have the same number of each type of atoms on both sides. That's balanced. And then our charge, that's balanced as well. We have 3 plus here, 3 plus here. So our charge is balanced as well. We're done. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.